Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cow playing Super Sick World, and uh, I the game is starting to get a bit harder. Like it has been demanding more attention recently. This is pretty good. Ghost House Number Four. What is that? House Ghosts. All right, there's a switch somewhere. Maybe you can like do something like this. I mean, you could maybe do something. Oh, is that activated by these? Okay, that's it's not. Oh, it's not a normal switch. Oh, well, that's stupid hit though. I had no reason to get hit there. Uh oh, hit that again. All right, it's a P switch race. Got it. If I had a cape, I could just blast through that, and you know, like take a shortcut. But I need to go here and oh, geez, uh, I might be dead. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, things are see like but okay. So how do you pace through the ghost then I wonder. And here, this makes this a bit harder cuz I don't have a cape. All right. So, okay. So so see like here I need to do it this way. Like this is I can't like cheat float. So like don't hesitate, but like don't be dumb either. All right. All those ghosts are Completely unimportant, <laughs> turns out. Good discovery. But like, here, like, I don't know, like, unless you could ride an eerie somewhere. Okay, so they looks like they're placed where you want to just kind of jump anyways. Possibly. Alright, safety zone. But like, there might be more P-Switch shenanigans beyond here! And don't think I didn't see that down line over there. Oh, jeez, wow. So you do need to use a cape to be able to do that little shortcut. What's down here? Like, I saw that line of coins. Oh, there's a secret exit. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Alright. Hey, look, man. You give me a row of coin, I'ma check it out. Alright. Fire flowers, they don't exist. They're an invention from the pickle house. I don't think that we should give the right to write laws of physics to restaurants, but I- Whoa, there was an extra note there. <laughs> Little squeak! And that's the actual exit. You just gotta go and you're there and you're like, hey, go in there. Alright, so here, see, I'm gonna have an opportunity to get a cape. So I think that the thing to do- I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna double up on capes, because, like, if I get hit, and I need to grab the cape again, like, that's just gonna take too much time. Like, it, it wouldn't make sense. Alright, so the trick here is you do that, so, you know, you end up, like, see, like, if I get hit here and I lose my cape, like, it's, it's pointless. Like, there's no way I can, uh, okay, so now I hope I can get all the way through here, here we go, run through the coins. There might be something even further beyond. Uh, let's check out what's in this door before... Oh. Okay. Interesting. So... Okay, so I need to be better. Alright, so I'm gonna bring you over here with me. It's gonna save some time. Oh, and I'm gonna lose all my time here though, doing a botch job. And there, I missed that. Um, okay, I can run here with this though, it's fine. See, now I'm going to be able to just press this whenever I want, which includes right now. Yeah, this might be the key to the true winning move. There's the last guy there. There's a coin here. Whoa, it's a magical cube with a one-up in it. There we go, I figured it out. Another one-up, so many one-up. Green mushrooms everywhere! So the whole level here is P-Switch management. Okay, so after yesterday, the, the, the level, the game is slightly retreating its teeth. That must be uncomfortable. <laughs> this is Blue Switch Pass. Blue Switch, I died in the Blue Switch Palace. Well, there's an enemy up there. I mean, I, look, it was very obvious I was rushing for absolutely no reason. <laughs> I just went. I wasn't at full speed. Please take this more seriously, I'll count. Uh, yeah, yeah. Blue Switch Palace means Blue Koopas. Yeah, so, uh, for anyone who's confused, no. Like, uh, there's no unused flies in a circle Blue Koopa. That is fresh new sprite that 
I'm pretty sure I've seen in other games, in other ROM hacks, but like, it, it ain't vanilla. Oh, this is kind of neat. There we go, look at that. You can do that, and then here you get reward. If you get at least 30 coins, well, you get at least two what-ups. There we go. Blue Switch Palace with, like, enemies and obstacles and everything. It's like I was in a video game. Man, I can't yum anymore here. Like, it's been a while. Like, normal P-switches, no problem. But the big guys, brap uh, into brap. That's all there is to say. Your progress will also be saved. Yeah, save that progress. Do it if prompt. Make the ghost appear. <laughs> Slightly delayed. Yellow level V... Vire. Fear 3, Valley 3, check it out, we're on, we're on the line, and there's wood, but there's a little stone elbow on the wood. Oh, it's a vertical level. Alright, I haven't, ooh. Well, <laughs> I wanted to get that mushroom. It didn't work out. Hey, you, guy, uh, can you, like, relax with the hammers there, man? You're gonna hurt someone. There's all these power tools that people are just kind of leaving everywhere. Like, this is dangerous. That's a cool-looking something. Uh, I might get hurt. I have not. Not yet, at least. Let's take a big ol' daisy flower. This is Daisy's personal tool. Why am I waiting here for it to fire? Because I don't want any surprises. That's, that's the only reason, man. Like, you know these guys are rhythmic beasts. If it's not on the rhythm, they're not interested. I don't think there's anything down that pit. I feel like I should have remembered if there was anything down there, but like, I think there was maybe a- why do I remember a midpoint? I do not trust my own mind. Oh jeez, I did that too early. I, I lived, but I shouldn't. You know what, just- oh yeah, sweet, awesome, great move there. Uh, yeah, there is a midpoint down that dip. Missed out, yes. I don't know why I didn't trust my memory. Like, I remembered it, but I didn't go. Because I didn't trust myself afterwards. But why? Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, ultimately, it makes it more likely that I might get all the Dagadons, if anything, by restarting. So, it's probably not a bad thing. But I would have played differently, I think, maybe. I don't know, man. I don't know anything. Hey, check out. That's... I don't know what... He's the most powerful soldier of the Koopa Kingdom forces. That one, uh, sock man. Um... Well, I think I'm dead. Yep. Anybody? Like, unless I've also missed that, it's possible. So I don't think you can go on top there, so you do, you do have to kind of rush here. But if you do hurry up, like, you can just make it fine, no problem. I'm so used to jump and jump adjacent family games that I figured that landing on that round block would have triggered an eating block somewhere. There's one up here. Sweet. <laughs> Didn't even jump there after the jump. What the story- Dude, which is normal. Land on anywhere. Okay, I guess you have- Okay. Like, how long do you have to wait? That's a really dude, just do get up there. While they're throwing boomerangs into nothing. Despawning immediately. Alright, turns out like lots of oh well, there's last Dragon. Turns out a lot of like horizontal movement in a vertical auto scrolling feels kind of weirdly awful. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to put into words. Uh, is, that, is that a whole thing? Wow, and that's a level. I mean, I like small levels, so I'm not complaining. But man, yeah, no like. Such a small, concentrated area. Give me so much issues. So much tissue. You gotta go around the lake. We're not gonna cave over it. We're not monsters. Tag it on. What? What am I doing? What? Dagdon. Dagdon. Dagdon, by the way. One last Dagadon in the night. <laughs> Alright. That was scary. Let's get scared in the number four fortress. We're actually probably gonna end after that, too. The sky is bright. Hey, Mario 3 Land. Here we go. Rotodisc and Skip. Well, I mean, it's, it's smooth 
dry bones, but they existed in Mario 3. All right, we're on the search for peace switch. Oh, maybe, you want to go, well, maybe that's just like the. Ooh, man, look at that. I'm being serious here. Okay, that may be a return. Is that? Ooh, hi, Potabo. Having fun? Welcome to the Potabo show. Yeah, see that green pipe? Just having fun going all the way up there where I can't do anything. Okay, it's probably gonna be the return then. Uh, I am hugely benefiting from the fact that colored switches everywhere around the world were pressed. Surprise! It's Podobo surprise! No hits, huh? Nope. It's not this kind of fortress, I guess. I'm just saying that level that gave you one power up at the start, I wouldn't have died there. It's 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 meaningful. Because the Polobo can just pop up wherever it wants to. Or not pop up at all, I guess if you're too high. I think down here. Spikes. Not too exciting. Spikes are just not too exciting. I'm sorry, this is the reality of it, man. Like, the yellow, they stay there. Don't know how to bake soup. I don't know how to bake soup either. Alright, check that out. So now we're gonna go here. We're gonna go like, wow, it's a wonderful tale of scrolling through the pipe while the P-switch goes on. I don't know if the P-switch counter counts while this is happening, actually. Should probably hurry up. Hey, we did it! Just got, uh, hmm. So, I can't help but notice that I, I have dragon coins missing. It's subtle though. Are they like hidden over here? Nope. Like I'm missing three. Where could they be? Uh, this was a very concentrated, really scrunched up level. There's a possibility that there's a... The P-Switch, like, made a door appear somewhere. It's worth looking around. Could also just be a mistake. Like, you can't go, like, no. Like, at the side, at the place we're at, you wouldn't be able to go down. Oh, but look at this friend, though. I did it! I solved the mystery! <laughs> also, that's the hit I was asking for, too! Wow! Everything I ever wanted! Collected all together! In the saddest little corner of the ozone layer. Well, might as well just play up to the fifth Agadon. And that's gonna be it for today. <laughs> what an anti-climax of an end, but... This is the world we live in. <laughs> bap da bap da bap bap.